You look familiar, my friend. I need to review your papers. Passport, please. Is this your first trip to our land? If so, please type your name in here. If you are returning to our land, select your name from the list below. We could possibly get you back in. You know, you, you have to pick a name, possibly an alias. It doesn't have to be your name. Hi, I'm the genie. Can you say magical? Welcome, bienvenue, bienvenudo. Welcome to the show. Just a few reminders and we'll get on with the feature presentation. We're almost ready for the adventure to begin, but before we do, there are a few things you should know. To get around, just move your mouse to any corner of the screen. All right, uh, let me see. Psst. Hey, blue guy, up there! Oh yes, there's some helpful buttons right up here. You can always get help here. You're going to need it, so don't be shy. Come over here and check out my rec room. That's a place where we can replay games from our adventure over and over and over again. Click here to save your game. Or click here to exit. And here you can decide how hard you want to make the adventure. Do you want to be a manly man? Or just simply enjoy a nice day on the hard drive? You can always come back here and change the levels. Well, well that about covers it. Ahem, excuse me. Um, I, I beg your pardon. From time to time, my friend and I will appear to offer you some hints, which are helpful little clues. Just click on us if you need a hand. And any time you think you've heard enough already, just tap the space bar once. Some more showtime. People, opening number! The adventure's about to begin. It's starring Aladdin. Jasmine, what up, Bruno? Iago, Abu, the monkey boy, me, and you! Why don't you join us? Most of all, check you out. Not looking good. Not like me. Same old bag baggy pants from Genie C surplus. You'd think after after ten thousand years they could take up a suit. Oh, thank you so much for interrupting my breakfast. <laughs> you old Bedouin's almanac didn't call for ring ring today. <laughs> Distant and chance of lightning and cower before the mighty Kizara! Oh, oh my god. We're in some sort of ch chamber of horrors? Chamber of horrors is right! We're, we're in the palace dungeon! Hey! Where's everybody else? Evil GG Bizarro must have taken out Jasmine's Manabu somewhere else. We have to find them. They could be in trouble. And how are we gonna do that? We're trapped in the dungeon! An old agribalibility says that there is a secret past pathway that leads in and out of here. All we have to do is find it. Yeah, right, like, like it's that easy. 
You lead, and we'll follow. Yeah, yeah. you bring up the rear. rear. Agrabah, 5th century, a little past noon. A sly bricklayer named Three Fingered Yazul builds the palace dungeon, but he also puts in a secret escape tunnel called Yazul's Number Wall. You are there. Yeah, we're here, all right. Now we gotta get a tool or something to dig our way to that secret wall. Hmm. This wall looks pretty suspicious. If only we had a chisel or a jackhammer. Or a raging bull elephant to help us smash through it. We could see what's underneath. Hey! Isn't that a chisel? A digging tool! Bingo! Hold on there. You wouldn't be trying to go into my web now, would ya? <laughs> oh, oh, not day, not day. Pardon me, Spider Lady, but we'd just like to grab that chisel. We promise not to disturb your web or any other access to the net. Ah, so you want to be taking my chisel? Well, can't you see I've got a family to feed? It's dinner time, and my little dearies are hungry. But I don't have any bugs. Have you seen any? Bugs? I can do bugs! Hey! These bugs have different color shapes and patterns. How are we gonna figure out which ones they like? I guess you better feed them a bug and see what happens. Hey. <coughs> Ugh, they don't like that kind. Feed them when I have four bugs all together. Alright! Way to toss them bugs! Thanks! Let's eat! Tasty! Ah! Now grab that chisel, let's start chipping away to find Yazul's number wall. Chisel, let's start chipping away to find Yazul's number wall. Hey, these bugs have different color shapes and patterns. How are we gonna figure? 
figure out which ones they like. I guess you better feed them a bug and see what happens. something they like. Don't be afraid to use different types of bugs. Delicacies are everywhere. Chipping away to find Yazul's number wall. All right. Remember our deal. The wall has to go. Just look at this plaster. We have to remove it. It's tunnel time. My psychic power tell me to grab the chisel and try scraping here. I have a very deep feeling that something wonderful is here like Yazoo's number one! There is three figured Yazoo's number one! It's a secret way out except I don't know the secret! I do! The secret is that Click on two of the gray bricks, add the numbers on them to get their sum, and then click on a blue brick with the sum on it. Then, those three bricks will move into the wall. If you move all of the numbered bricks into the wall, they'll disappear and we can crawl through. Alright, let's get to it and get out of here! Great job, kiddo. We're free. Now let's blow this brick pile and go save Aladdin! Yes, yes, yes! Aladdin, Aladdin, he's a man. If he can do it, you can! trapped inside that mosaic. Tiles forever. Welcome to my shop. Do you see something you like? Yes, we'd like to buy that mosaic. 
So, Blue Boy, what are we gonna use for money? I don't think she takes rocks. No money? Well, I think we can work something out. If you do a little task for me, I'll let you have it. All you have to do is build two mosaics. Oh, that's it? That's all? No problem. These mosaics will be a piece of camel cake. How do you build mosaics? I'm glad you asked. I am a special mosaic artist. Not only do I make my pictures with little pieces of glass, but all my work has what is called mirror symmetry. Look, you can see that if you folded my mosaic down the middle, I call that the line of symmetry. Both halves would match each other exactly. You could even see the same picture if you put a mirror on the line of symmetry. Fascinating. Please, choose a mosaic and begin. Okay, mosaic number one. Here are the pieces you can use to finish the mosaic. You can place a piece by clicking and dragging it. To turn a piece, click on it without dragging it. Hey, look over here. Mustafa left you some clues. You'll always have a picture of how this mosaic needs to look when it's finished. If you need another clue, click and you get a border. Click again and you can see the outline for every shape. Oh, you've got the hang of it. doing another okay here's mosaic number two get to it oh you've got the hang of it It. You've done it. We can go back and free Jasmine now. Oh, my hero. Ah, oh, you did an excellent job. You can work for me anytime. The lovely mosaic is yours. Okay, break Jasmine out of there with the chisel. Oh, thank you for rescuing me. It was awful in there. The crystals were so cold and I was afraid I'd end up on someone's wall. We have to find Abu. He'll know where Bazara took Aladdin. I'll find carpet and you guys start searching. I'll meet up with you later. Buddy, we're, we're gonna save you. All right, here's our plan. Plan. Wacky is so wacky, he'll trade for anything. Oh my, who's interrupting my repairs? Customers, customers, 
Ay, 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 pinch me. I'm not dream dreaming, am I? We gotta, gotta start trading. What have we, we got? Hey, I know. Let's use this. this. Hmm. I'll tell you what I'm going to do, my little, little bargain booger. For that, I will give you all, all of these lemons. Magnificent! Here's the deal. We'd like that monkey. monkey. Come closer, please. Thread right away, my friend. Meanwhile, I'll finish my construction. I am, I am adding a best best. Please pay particular attention. The monkey is a very special piece of merchandise. To get him, you must follow my trading rule. The sign shows what trades you can make. Put the right number of lemons on the trading plate to start the trading. When you have enough to trade, click on the basket that holds what you'd like to trade for. Keep following the sign and trading until the monkey is yours. Let's trade! Show me the monkey! That is nice trading. Wacky sign says you need four oranges for the next trade. Trade your lemons to get three more oranges. Good trade. And you have leftovers. Those oranges look delicious. Just right. Very clever trading, my friend. We're coming, little buddy. Take a boo and let's get out of here! On you, but the, the screen is blocking me. <laughs> A boost has just been disimprisoned at Boost of Fetus Mosaics. Good gravy, we have to save her! Aladdin must be inside. Either that or Abu had to make a make a pit stop. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Breach yourselves! We're, we're going inside in a big big way! Okay! Let's go save him now! Oh, but, but careful, watch out for splinters and nails. I'll take those. They might be important. Abu, show us where Aladdin is. Look at that. It's Al's Fez. 
And it's floating in a dimensional vortex. Somewhere in this book, there has to be a formula for opening the magical vortex so we can save Aladdin. Good thing I took that hooked on hieroglyphics class. It says you need to make three potions to open the vortex completely. That's correct. Who's that? It is I, the spirit of the ancient pharaoh, very uncommon. Spirit? No one said anything about spirits! Do not fear, mortals. I am only here to present the recipes to you. After I read each instruction, you do what it says by putting crystals on the plate. Or you can just think about the instruction and come back to it later. When you're ready to hear the next instruction, just click on the arrow. Anytime you want, you may put crystals back and get more. When you think you've finished the whole recipe and are ready to mix your potion, click on the lightning bolt medallion and you too can make some magic. You may begin. Two crystals are green. Hold on there! You need to hear all of the instructions before you click on the medallion. Click on the arrow to hear the next instruction. There are twice as many purple crystals as green crystals. There are twice as many orange crystals as purple crystals. There are half as many yellow crystals as purple crystals. There are zero white crystals. There are 20 crystals altogether. Ready for the second recipe, your pharaohness? There are 19 crystals in all. Four crystals are blue. There are three times as many orange crystals as blue crystals. There are zero white crystals. There are half as many yellow crystals as blue crystals. There are half as many green crystals as yellow crystals. Get back to work. 
Grab that mouse and move! There are 15 crystals. The number of orange crystals equals the number of blue crystals. The number of purple crystals equals the number of green crystals. There is one yellow crystal. Four crystals are orange. Looks like that's the end of the recipe. To see if you've got it right, click on the lightning bolt medallion. The recipe is not totally right. Check each instruction and see if your crystals match what it says. I suggest you check the instructions in order. If you want to hear an instruction again, just click on it. When you think you finished correcting the recipe, click on the lightning bolt medallion. You have succeeded. You are worthy. You did it. You opened the vortex. Okay, everybody. It's magic time. Let's go save Al. But first, everyone make sure that your seats and tray tables are in your upright and locked position. <laughs> One step beyond the Great Wall of Reality! Wow, listen to that echo. Is that me or is that me? <gasps> Gives me goosebumps. Luckily, I've got Genie Vision to help us find Aladdin and a way out of here because... There's no going back now! Hey, click on one of my hands. You'll move in the direction my hand is pointing. The dot shows you where you are. Keep clicking until we find our way out of here. Click on. Just look at the number on my readout below to see how many steps away the escape tunnel is. Uh, a, a brief warning. Um, my senses detect certain shafts of sudden air, sort of an in-room turbulence. Be careful. If you step on one, it'll tend to blow you across the room. Good luck. Jammed in a corner. This isn't fun. Soft, what light through yonder tunnel breaks? It's our way out. Quickly, move it. Towards the light, you might get us out of here. Hey! Something smells like feet. Look, there's Al's shoe. We must be on the right track. Way to go! You're doing it! You're fabulous! Let's not stop now. 
If we're on the right track, how come we're still in the dark? Yo, that's our next exit. Click on the light and we're out of here. Be close. One thing's for sure, Al's gonna need a new wardrobe after this. There's a light again. Give it a click. Guys, help me! I can't break free from this vortex! Give me your hand! Oh yeah, that was fun. Fun if you like dimensional vortexes! Aladdin, you're, you're safe. Yeah, but we have to stop Bizarra. She bro broke her lamp into three pieces. That's bad. That, that's an 8.5 on the naughty scale. Without a master or a lamp, she, she'd never be stopped. There's got to be a way to put Bizarre's lamp back together. I've already got the first piece. You do? I grabbed it when she tossed me into the vortex. There are two more pieces. I heard her say she, she hidden one at the magic carnival. Uh-oh. We've got company. Keep Bizarra on the run while we look for the other pieces of the lamp. Whoa! That was close. We better hurry to the magic carnival and get the get second lamp piece. But the carnival appears in a different spot each night. How will we find it? With a map, of course. But since we're geographically challenged, we need to visit Camel the Camel Man. Why? He's got lots of maps! Please, they're eating me out of house and home. But remember, they will not take you anywhere without a the map. They're like that. <laughs> Maybe there's a map to the magic carnival somewhere in that pot. Whoopee! We're getting closer. That was a pretty, pretty bumpy ride. A carpet would have been a lot more comfortable. Oh well. Watch out for the camel! Nothing here! Nada! Zip! Zip! Zilch! Must have grabbed the wrong map! Wait! Wait! A dream is a wish your heart makes. Behold! The magic carnival! No pushing, shoving, or crowding. Somewhere inside that canvas encampment is the second lamp piece. Al's future depends on us finding it. No pressure, huh? Let the games begin! This is it. The mysterious magic carnival. Here is where we'll find the second lamp piece. All we have to do is play a bunch of games. I know it's hard work, but somebody's gotta do it. Look at all these fabulous prizes! It's everything you could ever want! And more, you greedy little guy! What 
so much great stuff, the land piece has to be here. Along with some treasure? Maybe the dude with a mustache knows where the lamp piece is. Welcome to the marvelous magic carnival of Mechanicles. You may play here all day, but when you leave, the magic carnival will leave too. Only to reappear somewhere else in the endless desert. Click on one of our extremely valuable prizes and it can be yours, if you have the right tickets. Talking of the realm, worth a fortune with the fortune teller. Hey, we could use a fortune. Maybe that'll tell us where the last lamp piece is. You do not have the right combination of tickets for this valuable prize. A unique fine china teapot fitted with an antique handle from an ancient lamp. Huh? What's that he said? I said, a unique, fine china teapot fitted with an antique handle from an ancient lamp. Bingo! That's the lamp piece we need! You do not have the right combination of tickets for this valuable prize. The Temple of Dragons needs your care. Rebuild it as fast as you may dare. Geonim's the game for you. Last one to link the shapes wins. Step right up and try your hand at Bug Out. Look at all these games. I'm feeling lucky tonight, buddy. There's just so much to choose from, I don't know where to start. I wonder what's back here. Maybe there's treasure. Hey, the fortune teller. Could that be a clue? I'd rather find some treasure. I'd even settle for a snack wagon. Welcome, friends. It's only me. Come learn of the unknown which you cannot see. The future that may or may not be. Come closer, approach. Don't be afraid. If I'm wrong, a refund will be made. Oh. Yes! A fortune teller. A sayer of sooth. A predictor of predictions. Now we won't have to call the psychic hotline. Maybe she knows where we can find the last lamp piece. If you seek a fortune and are worthy, put a token in the slot below. If unworthy, then no fortune, and off you go. Uh-oh. Anybody got a token? Let's go back to the prize booth and see if we can get one. And let's see if they've got any pizza around here. A slice of couscous pizza would be great right now. Har, stop. There's nothing free here, me matey. Me thinks we need a token to give to the fortune teller. Har. 
You mean like that gold one I saw at the prize booth? Oh yeah, a lot of help that fortune teller turned out to be. Why didn't someone tell us that we needed to give her a token in order to get our fortune? What we need now is a token for the fortune teller. Good thing there is one right in front of your nose! Of course it takes tickets to buy. Attempt to rebuild the Forbidden Temple, if you dare. To rebuild the columns, click on any broken piece and drag it to one of the pedestals. Keep adding pieces until each column is exactly 10 units tall. Rebuild all the columns and win two white tickets. Ready to play? Click on the glowing ruby to start. Good luck. You can't use that piece. You can only use pieces from the columns that broke. Keep this up, we're gonna go places. Hey, anytime you wanna check your ticket, just roll on over here. Click on the glowing ruby to start. Good luck. Start. Good luck.
winner. Your brain is getting huge. Click on the glowing ruby to start. Good luck. Step right up and play the irresistible game of Geonim. All you have to do is take turns with me and place shapes on the game board. If you place the last piece, you win three purple tickets. You can turn a piece to make it fit by clicking on it without dragging it. When you're finished, click on the Done button. To start the game, click on the glowing ruby. Click on the glowing ruby to play again. If you want to go first, just move one of your pieces. If you want me to go first, click here. Okay, I'll go first. You can't finish your turn until you place one of your pieces. is getting huge. Click on the glowing ruby to play again. Click on the glowing ruby to play again. If you want to go first, just move one of your pieces. If you want me to go first, click here. to play again. Click on the glowing ruby to play again. If you want to go first, just move one of your pieces. If you want me to go first, click here. 
Okay, I'll go first. Let me see. You won. Good playing. Your brain is getting huge. Click on the glowing ruby to play again. Welcome to Bug Out, the hoppiest game in town. I empty a jar of grasshoppers, and you try to get them all back in. The number on the jar shows you how many grasshoppers there are. Use one of my special grasshopper nets to catch the critters. The number on the handle shows exactly how many grasshoppers you must catch in that net. You can use only one net to catch all the grasshoppers for one jar. If you decide to change nets, I will have to let out any grasshoppers you've already put in the jar. When you filled four jars, you win two white tickets. Click on the glowing ruby to begin playing. Click on the glowing ruby to begin playing. Great! So far, so good. Here is another jar. You have to put more grasshoppers in the net before you can empty it. Sorry, the net is full. Put it over the opening of the jar and click to empty it. Here's the last jar. You win. Good job. Click on the glowing ruby to begin playing. 
click on the glowing ruby to begin playing. So far, so good. Here is another jar. Sorry, the net is full. Put it over the opening of the jar and click to empty it. You have to put more grasshoppers in the net before you can empty it. So far, so good. Here is another jar. Here's the last jar. You win. Wow! Click on the glowing ruby to begin playing. Click on the glowing ruby to begin playing. So far, so good. Here is another jar. So far, so good. Here is another jar. Here's the last jar. You have to put more grasshoppers in the net before you can empty it. You win.
Luke Jabari. Click on the glowing ruby to begin playing. Try your skill and test your brain. Square Ops, sure to entertain. Make a choice, pick a card. Play magic number, it's not hard. The missing number doesn't last. Play this game and think fast. Ah, a challenger for square up. Whoever is first to make a square wins. Each time you make a square before I do, you win three purple tickets. Here's how it works. You get your blue marbles over here, and I use yellow. We take turns marking dots with our marbles until one of us makes a square of any size. You can even make squares that are diagonal, slanting like this. When you've finished your move, click the done button. When you think your marbles mark the corners of a square, click on the square up button, and then click on the four blue marbles that make your square. To start the game, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to go first, just click on your marble cup. If you want me to go first, click on mine. Okay, I'll go first. Hmm. A square has four corners. You don't have enough marbles on the board yet to make a square. That's a square. You win. Wow! Hey, anytime you want to check your ticket, just roll on over here. If you want to play again, If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to go first, just click on your marble cup. If you want me to go first, click on mine. Let's see here. Square. 
that's a square. You win. Wow! If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to go first, just click on your marble cup. If you want me to go first, click on mine. Okay, I'll go first. Let me see. Let me see. I know all the angles. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. Ah, so you've decided to give the magic number a try. Excellent. I pick the magic number. If you can put cards in every holder that add up to the magic number and use up all the cards, then you win three orange tickets. To play, click and drag two, three, or four cards to a holder. But be careful. If you click on the done sign three times and you're wrong each time, you lose. Click on the glowing ruby to start. Good luck. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. Remember, you need to use up all the cards before you can click done. And you must put some cards in every holder. Congratulations, you got all the magic numbers right. Your brain is getting huge. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. Congratulations, you got all the magic numbers right. Your brain is getting huge. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby.
Congratulations! You got all the magic numbers right. Good job. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. Welcome! Open your eyes wide and look carefully at this chart. It starts with zero and ends with 99. Squares will flash. When they do, the numbers inside will change from one number to another. But only some numbers fit the pattern of the chart. Those are the ones you need to click on to complete the chart. You will have 18 chances to fix all of the flashing squares. This counter will help you keep track. If the counter runs out, then you lose. But if you find all the correct missing numbers, then you win two orange tickets. To start playing, click on the glowing ruby. Try again? No problem! To start playing, click on the glowing ruby. Done it! The numbers are all filled in! Great job! Good job, buddy. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. Numbers renew! To start playing, click on the glowing ruby. Try again? No problem! To start playing, click on the glowing ruby. Done it! The numbers are all filled in! Great job! Good going, sport. You did a fine job. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. Numbers renew! To start playing, click on the glowing ruby.
You've used up all of your guesses. Click on the glowing ruby to start a new game. You've done it! The numbers are all filled in! Great job! Your brain is getting huge. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. It is I, the wizard Ferrero Very Uncommon. And very smart. You have come far, far. Seek the words of the fortune teller. In your future looms a danger that I myself have created, but alas, no longer control. Have courage. On your success rests the fate of the entire world. Come on! We've got all the tickets we need! Now let's buy the lamp piece. A token of the realm worth a fortune with the fortune teller. Hey, we could use a fortune. Maybe that'll tell us where the last lamp piece is. Choice. We can use this token to get a fortune from the fortune teller. Hey, I'll keep all your prizes till you leave the carnival. I'm not gonna lose them. Don't look at me like that. I can see you through the screen. It's a fake kid. You don't want that. Let's look for something we can use. Listen to me, kid. When I steer you wrong, we gotta look for something we can use. Get it? Something we can use. A unique fine china teapot fitted with an antique handle from an ancient lamp. Huh? What's that he said? I said, a unique fine china teapot fitted with an antique handle from an ancient lamp. Bingo! That's the lamp piece we need! And lucky us, we've got the tickets for it! Garçon, if you please. This is it! The handle to Bizarra's lamp. Two pieces down, one to go. I'll keep it for you. Now we have to find a clue to where the last lamp piece may be. Wait a minute. Call me psychic, but how about trying the fortune teller? How about checking some fortune cookies? I'm hungry! Welcome, friends. It's only me. Come learn of the unknown which you cannot see. The future that may or may not be. Come closer, approach. Don't be afraid. If I'm wrong, a refund will be made. Oh, yes! A fortune teller. A sayer of sooths. A predictor of predictions. Now we won't have to call the psychic hotline. Maybe she knows where we can find the last lamp piece. If you seek a fortune and are worthy, put a token in the slot below. 
If unworthy, then no fortune. And off you go. Go on. Drag the token into the slot. Let's see what she knows. Why seek the future when it's the past that you need? Here now, your fortune I will conceive. Bizarre, the genie, was not long ago here and learned that Aladdin is whom she must must fear. So that's why she wants Al. That naughty, naughty genie, you've been bad! To stop Bizarre, Aladdin must wish that from this world he will, will vanish. Sorry, I can't all be gems. Al has to leave the world? No! No, that's not good! Seek the last piece of the lamp if you should but bear. In the pyramid of very uncommon which floats in the air! Hey, you guys! Did you find the second lucky luck piece? Uh, Roger, Wilco Alpha Zulu. Mission accomplished. Uh, Roger, 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 Fed Pete. We even know our next objective. Uh, we need to need the last piece of the lamp from the floating pyramid of very, very uncommon. You're doing great! We'll keep Bizarra busy while you search the floating pyramid, and then, and then we'll meet up with you later. Um, say Al, before I forget, forget the fortune teller said that you- Aha! There you are, you little street rap- Gotta fly! Where is he?! Where is that no-good gutter slug Aladdin?! I'd say this is a good time to take a hike. Wow. A floating pyramid. It's just like like a back of a dollar bill. Oh, coincidence? Or maybe stranger than fiction. You have approached the magical pyramid of the wizard pharaoh very uncommon. Those who enter face their certain doom. And once inside it, there is no turning back. Abandon all hope of ever returning to your world. Your quest is worth the challenge. You know, this whole, whole thing's starting to sound like, like a bad idea. We have no choice. If we're gonna stop this Bizarro, we have to get in there and find the last lamp piece. <gasps> oh, I don't know, like this part. Mm -hmm. Oh. Look at this. Some kind of mystic triangle lock. Ooh. Hence my mystic tone. On the other side are the untold mysteries of very uncommon. Hey, do we have the triangles we need for this? We found three of them at Very Uncommon's lab in Agrabah, remember? Luckily, I held on to them for safekeeping. All we have to do is figure out how to fit all four triangles into the shape. To start, click on a triangle, drag it, and place it in the shape. If you just click on a triangle without dragging it, it will turn in place. How'd you get so smart? You can't go back now. There's no turning back now. All right, we gotta pass those guardians. Now, you wanna try again or choose the other room? I've got it. Why don't we uh, break for lunch?
Ooh. She's a chip off the old ugly block. I wonder if she's any relation to Bizarro. Look at the beautiful jewels in my necklace. Some of the jewels are missing. Each jewel on my necklace is different from the others in some way. If you replace them in the correct pattern, I will let you pass. Jewels! They're mine! I can buy anything! I can get a mansion! A yacht! Wait a minute, I can get an egg salad sandwich. Look at the pattern of the jewels in the Guardian's necklace. Then click on one of these jewels and drag it to the necklace so it fits the pattern. <gasps> It's the pattern on my necklace. without paying honor to the guardians of the door. To let you pass, you must please me by putting jewels into each of my two plates that add up to the number on my crown. To please me, you must put jewels into each of my two plates that add up the number on my crown. To please me, you must put jewels into each of my two plates that add up to the number on my crown. Well, they say three heads are better than one. Let's give it a go. Here are the jewels. Click on one of the guardians if you want more information. of the book to reveal the mystery of the floating pyramid. 
I was a wizard in search of even greater magic. I journeyed far to Dragon Island, a place of dark power. I fought past the dragons until I had reached their treasure at the top of the mountain. And there I found a lamp, an ancient silver lamp. Dare I hope that it contained a genie? And that I might have unlimited power? But inside the lamp was a monstrosity. An evil genie who made every command I issued turn bad and evil. An evil genie named Bizarra. The fate of the world lay in my hands. Bizarra had to be stopped forever. I built this floating pyramid and imprisoned Bizarra deep within. But now she has broken free. Bizarra will bring doom and fire from a thousand worlds upon the land. You must reach the secret chamber and put an end to her terror. But be warned, the pyramid is filled with untold dangers and you may not survive. It's another triangle lock. Here are the keys. Here you go, bucko. Oops! Don't move that triangle. It's in the right place. Now that's really using your cabeza. jewels in my necklace. Some of the jewels are missing. Each jewel on my necklace is different from each other in some way. You must replace them in the correct pattern before I will let you pass. It's the pattern on my necklace.
jewel does not fit the pattern on my necklace. for scale. Look, if they don't eat carrots, this is no problem of mine. To let you pass, you must please me by putting jewels into each of my two plates that add up to the number of my crown. To please me, you must put jewels into each of my two plates that add up to the number my crown. To please me, you must put jewels into each of my two plates that add up to the number on my crown. Do these guys look hungry to you? Uh, maybe you better get started before their dinner bell rings. So, you click one of them if you want a little help. I'm gonna keep my distance. dangerous. I bet we're close to the last lamp piece. What are you, crazy? We're not actually gonna try to cross that thing, are we? There's one bridge that never passed a safety inspection, my friend. Let's check it out. Click on a tile in the first row, and we'll see what happens. Two rules. 
you can move to any tile which touches the flashing tile, but it has to be different from the flashing tile in exactly two ways. Look at the color, shape, and pattern of the flashing tile and find a tile that differs in two ways. I'm not so sure that every correct path will get us to the other side. We might hit some dead ends. Only one attribute can stay the same. Looks like the end of the road. Click back on the tiles we came from and see if there's another way across. Fiber, do you? This looks like a basement. It's time someone had a yard sale. Look at all this junk. You don't suppose someone's in there, do you? M m maybe it's just a really elaborate refrigerator. I wonder if the last lamp piece is in there. Go on, we're with you. Take a look. We'll be about a hundred feet away behind the ledge here. The last lamp piece is almost on ours. Grab it quick! Whoopee! This is fabulous! Hey, I want you to take a moment and take a little swim in Lake U. Because you need a moment of thanks. You did it. You made the lamp. Now let's use it. Okay. It's showtime! Survey says, show me a lamp! Guess who's coming? <laughs> Things look pretty bleak for our heroes. Will Aladdin and Jasmine escape the evil Bazaar and save Agrabah? Or will Genie and Iago end up forever trapped in the floating pyramid? And what exactly is falafel? For the answer to these and other questions, tune in next time when... There may not be a next time! Oh, this is not good! Bizarro's right behind us! Quick, put me into the lamp! Aladdin, no! In my limited professional opinion, I'd have to say that... You're crazy! Trust me! Snooky, when Shrinky Dean coming up? Aha! 
Babylon, Aladdin! Oh, yeah? Well, come in here and get me if you think you can. You dare defy the great Bizarre! You're mine! You will your life straight out! Ah! Uh-oh. I think I made a boo-boo. You sure did, Poison Poonam. Genie, you better get me out of here. I don't think Bazaar is gonna make a good roommate. Okay, now give it a rub. What are you crazy? You let her out again! Now look, I like Aladdin as much as anybody, but in this case I'm gonna be a little selfish and say, just leave him there and let's get out of this floating brickyard! No, 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 not to worry. Genie rule number 764 states, first in, first out. This is your big moment. Don't blot. Okay, do your stuff. Rub the lamp and we'll trap the princess ugly. Not a moment too soon. It was really crowded in there. Oh, I just love happy endings. And thank you for helping. We couldn't have done it without you. It's been a privilege serving with you on this mission. If you ever want to do it again, you know where to find me. Look in the blue pages. I'm right there! Okay, great. A happy reunion. But more importantly, can, can we go eat now? <laughs> Everyone, hop on! Never mind, I've got a quicker way. The lamp should be safe here. Who else but us could get into this pyramid? There's one thing I'd like to know. How did Bazara get out of her lamp in the first place? Hello, little snake. Yes, I'm, I'm looking to you, you adorable little snake yuki -wiki. I know you're out there. I can hear you slithering. Come closer to Bazaar's lamp. Come closer. I said it! Get over here, you worthless serpent! Rub, rub my lamp, you overgrown earthworm! Hey, look at me, at me when I'm talking to you! Greetings! Welcome to my rec room, where I've been collecting my favorite games from our adventure. This is a place for playing games, hence the name Rec Room, for recreation, not wreck as in destroy. A place for winning points! Of course, anything else would be pointless. Ha ho! Earn a thousand or more points in any game and you win a certificate. Keep earning points and you win the big Mango Certificate! Did you say Mango? I love mangoes! They're so sweet! They're so juicy! Did I mention I haven't eaten? Not Mango! Mango! It means you're the champ! Go for Rocky! Rocky, get in there! Fight Rocky! Go to Rocky! Go for Ezra! <laughs> These guys, I am pleased. I am not pleased. Picky, picky, picky. Well, see if you can please them. Click on the glowing ruby to start.
I am pleased. Now I am not pleased. Now I am not pleased. I am pleased. of jewels up there. Try moving jewels from one plate to another. And like a wise old owl once said, sometimes one door has to close before another can open. I am pleased. I am Coming right up.
have a winner! You can print your certificate now, but remember, you can keep earning points all the way up to 99,999. Win a certificate in every game and you'll win the big Mongo certificate! One down and six to go! Those won't work because the two gray bricks don't add up to the blue brick you pick. Try other numbers. Those won't work because... Kid? Kid? Those won't work because the two gray bricks don't add up to the blue brick you picked. Try other numbers.
won't work because the two gray bricks don't add up to the blue brick you pick. Try other numbers. Certificate now. You need physical proof of this remarkable achievement. Oh no, lost in the dark once again. Let's try to find our way out. Click on the glowing ruby to start. Soft, what light through yonder tunnel breaks? It's our way out! Quickly, move it! That's our next exit. Click on the light and we're out of here! Soft, what light through yonder tunnel breaks? It's our way out! Quickly, move it! I'll mark it so you don't hit it again. Yo, yo, 
That's our next exit. Click on the light and we're out of here! You stunned me, kid! What a lovely certificate! Suitable for framing. Shapes galore! Who can place the last piece on the game board? Click on the glowing ruby to start. If you want to go first, just move one of your pieces. If you want me to go first, click here. Let's see here. Let me see. You won. Good playing. All right. Click on the glowing ruby to play again. If you want to go first, let me see. Good playing. You stunned me, kid! Click on the glowing ruby to play again. If you want to go first... Huh. See here.
Let me see. You won. Good playing. Amazing! Click on the glowing ruby to play again. Playing. Amazing! Click on the glowing ruby to play again. If you If you want me to go first, click on mine. Let's see here. Let me see. Click the four marbles that make your square. That's a square. You win. Yowza! If you want to play again, Click on the glowing ruby. If you want... Hmm. 
Let me see. Marbles that make your square. That's a square. You win. What a job! If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want. on the glowing ruby. It that make your square. That's a square. You win. You stun me, kid! If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If
Let's see here. If you that make your square. That's a square. You win. Wow! If you want to, if you want to go first, just click on your marble cup. If you want me to go first, click on mine. Okay, I'll go first. Let's see here. that make your square. That's a square. You win. All right. You definitely earned that certificate. I can picture it on your bridge already. with numbers. Well, what do you know? Click on the glowing ruby to start. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. Thank you. 
cards in some holders still don't add up to the magic number. Try moving some cards from one holder to another and see if you can make the cards in each of the holders add to the magic number. Amazing! If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. If you want to play again, click on the glowing ruby. A certificate, and it's heading your way! Oh, that fancy guardian with the fancy necklace! Click on the glowing ruby to start. That jewel does not fit the pattern on my necklace. Thank you. That jewel fits the pattern on my necklace. That jewel does not fit the pattern on my necklace.
Thank you. That jewel fits the pattern on my necklace. fits the pattern on my necklace. fits the pattern on my necklace.
Thank you. That jewel fits the pattern on my necklace. Go back to the rec room and print it out. The fans are... 